We're having the biggest baby bust in the United States since the 1920s. So we're short kids. So get going. Um, <laughs> but the population replacement rate right now, in order to maintain our population, and this is a problem almost everywhere in the developed world and the develop and certain parts of the developing world, China being one, although it's hard to refer to China as a developing economy, but you need 2.1 children per woman to replace your population. We're, we've fallen to one seventh, which is the lowest we've seen in decades. So we're not there. And if you think about the entitlement implications of that going forward, as the baby boomers continue to advance and hit 65, 10,000 of them every single day, then Gen X behind them. The millennials are coming into their own, but there still won't necessarily be enough workers to handle the entitlement burden that we need going forward. And we've constrained immigration at the very same time. Very simple equation about where we go from here. If you look at labor force growth or population growth to make it a bigger topic, population growth plus productivity growth equals economic growth. So we cannot exceed potential unless we have more people coming into the United States. However they get here, whether through, child, whether through childbirth or immigration, we have to increase the size of the population to exceed what is the long run potential at around two or two and a half percent of real GDP. And so that's a problematic issue. It's also, by the way, slightly deflationary, as is the automation that we're seeing to replace workers at, at this point in time. That too is deflationary, which would offset some of the inflationary pressures that we see. It's really not what we want, though. It's not how you optimize economic output. And so that's, that is problematic from a policy perspective that, it, that we have yet to deal with some of these things that are directly in front of us. Clearly, we're still struggling coming out of the pandemic. So not everyone is focused on the same thing at the same time. And certainly not everyone is focused on long-term solutions to structural problems when we're really just trying to get the economy back on its feet and normalize in such a way that we just go back and do the same things that we did pre-pandemic. 